Welcome to Meet the Ambassador Channel, where we meet many ambassadors from different nations around the world. So today we will meet the ambassadors of Egypt, His Excellency Mustafa Mahmoud El Kuni. And before that, I would like to give you a little bit of his background. Um, so His Excellency graduated from Cairo University in economics and political science major. And before coming to Thailand, he's been to five different countries in five different postings, which is France, Ivory Coast, Australia, Israel, and Senegal. So on his family, his family is right now in Egypt due to COVID circumstances. And he has two daughters and one son. And yeah, so now's the time. Let's go meet His Excellency. So let's meet him. Oh, Sadiha! Sadiha, how are you? So we are here at the residence of the ambassador of Egypt. How are you? Okay. Yeah, so maybe you can show around yes. the residence. Wow! This is the hall, mm -hmm. and I, this is we are here now at the hall of the or the lounge of the residence uh, on the main entrance. And I uh, have to. I would like to present for you some handcraft oh. Egyptian handcraft mm. that is came from Egypt. These plates mm -hmm. that is, is in Cooper. Oh, it's made from copper. Oh, copper, and, and the, yes. And there are some writings here as writing, well. Writings, this yeah. is in Arabic, they put uh, the name of God. Mm. Allah. Allah, the God. Mm -hmm. Here and here. I see. This is Egypt, Egyptian, oh. Egyptian handcraft. Mm. You saw it? Oh, so pretty. I see. This is box. Mm. In wood. Engraved. Engraved inside, wow. inside. Wow. inside and outside. Mm. The same. Yeah, maybe you can see this in Egypt. This is very old tradition from a long time. We don't use it now, but no. is as handcraft is very. It's yeah, very unique. Very, very, yeah. very, very. You put here some powders, and they start and you put and you burn it yeah. and. You put on a small countdown and you smell. Very, very beautiful smell. This is like that you, you welcome any guest when you come in your home. Oh, I see. The, uh, the second uh, living room, lounge, yep. Yep. here, main lounge, here. This is the second main lounge of the residence. Yep. This here. is my, uh, Another living all, room. all yeah. of this, my... Uh, since oh, they came Egypt? handcraft, oh, yeah, they came okay. from Egypt. Okay. That is things. Wow, it's big. This as well. Mm. This is came from the words came from the Quran. The uh, God uh -huh. as well. Uh -huh. God okay. in Arabic they told Allah. Mm. And this. So it's like a verse. This are like a verse God. exactly, like a verse. Th that one as well. I see. This is my family. Oh, yes, here, the photo of my family. And this is my father. Your father. Oh. And this is my oh, family. Yes. So you have. I have one, uh, two, two daughters daughter and one and one son. One son. This is my wife. I see. This is my two daughters and, and this is my now son. Now they are in Egypt. They are in Egypt, Egypt. all of them. Oh, and this is look the mosque that they are in Jerusalem. Mm. Very famous mosque of Jerusalem. Yes, the one that, that they go, uh, oh yeah, go, go pray. They go. Of old Cairo, this present oh, old Cairo, okay. Okay. old Cairo, okay. old, the old city of Cairo, mm. from more than 300 years ago. Oh. That this is like a market. Market, place. exactly yeah. like a marketplace. And this is a mosque, and this is the buildings are surrounded yes. it. Is a, a, another graphic oh, of old Cairo as well. The old city. This is painted. This, when you told about old city, it's more than 1,000 years. <laughs> when you talk about old, old Egypt, city, it's yes, it's very, about 1,000 years. Very old, <laughs> very not very uh, 100, yeah. 1,000 years. Wow. And they know how to make like this building. Yes, like the building. Like yeah. Building. yeah. From that period, mm -hmm. exactly. And this is the city, and this is the dining room. Oh, okay. 
main dining room. And when you arrange the you dinner, arrange the dinner ambassadors here. And yes, and exactly. So or any formal uh, or the formal dinner. My honor to come and to take a dinner for me one day. Oh, with pleasure. I, 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 okay. I would be very honored. Well, of course. Oh, for me. And this is the balcony, the end of the balcony here. And uh, we see the beautiful city of Bangkok, uh, the, how it's been modernized yeah. very well. And if you look down there, you can see the river Phong San Sam. And fun fact, if you take the boat from that pier, you can go all the way to the center of Bangkok, oh, wow. which is around um, the, uh, the malls, the Paragon, the Central World area. Ah. So you can take well. that as well. Very, very well. If it's traffic, so you can oh, yes, much another easier, option. Yes, much easier to take the boat. <laughs> yes, option. that is true. That is all for the uh, residence tour. Now, next up, we will be having a little gift for the ambassador during the gift giving session. Stay tuned. So we are back from the residence tour now, and this is one of my favorite parts, which is the gift giving part. So gift giving, we give gifts to the ambassador um, and share about Thai culture with them. And I heard from your secretary that your favorite hobby is football. <laughs> and you, do you like playing or do you like? Yes, what, I play for a long football? time. Oh, yeah. Yes. So today I like to give you takra, uh, which is a Thai. <laughs> football. Here this Thai football. Yes. Uh. So we call it Takra. So I like to share you a bit on the background. So this is a welcome gift for you to Thailand. So you can you. <laughs> play around with it. Um, yeah. So this is called Takra, which is a popular sport. It, this is very, very native to Southeast Asia. So it's the origin. I think it's from Malay, Mal Malaysia, because um, uh, Sepa Takra, Sepa means um, kick in mm. Malay language. Mm. Um, but but if you say this one, it's called takro. 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 Yeah. Uh, takro. So yeah. If yeah. you tell Thai, hey, you want to play takro, ah, they, they can. Ah, they know okay. this, they this one. They know this one. This one. This ah. one. And this is the one they use for. Is mo sorry. Is mm. most famous yeah. than the football, than the soccer. Yeah. Ah. Everyone. Everyone. It's a very. Everyone easy. knows this takro, yeah. but not everyone plays. But the football, everyone play and no, no, no. That is mean the football is many, the football that we play, the soccer, is many famous than the takro. Yeah, it's more famous My than takro. Uh, yeah, but takro, this one is very native to, to um, Southeast Asia, to Thai. So in the past, they have a competition. Okay. Now, now they also have competition oh. too. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this one, um, a little bit about the takro, right? It, yeah. it is made from rattan. You know, the it's like a palm tree that grows in the, the, the Southeast Asia. The original one is made from this one, but this one is the one they use in the competition. Ah, like okay. Country. Yeah, so you can use this and practice and you uh, can... This is in yeah. plastic. Yes, yes, Plastics, but, but, yeah. but uh, they use this one, uh, this size, exactly like this in competition now. Competition, yeah. okay. So, so if you want to compete with Thai, ah. you can practice with this. With this one? <laughs> yes. Very well. You, you can enter the competition. Okay, very well. Very well. <laughs> yes. Um, so, Taka, how we play it, it's like, um, you know, volleyball. So, the net is very high. It's 1.52 meters from ah. the ground. So, you can only kick this. Oh, yeah. I, I, I kick. put it yeah, over, over, over the volleyball. Yeah, and you can the, only, the net, yes. The net. So, you can only kick for three times. So, so pa me kick to you, you kick to one person, and she has to ah, kick. to kick to uh, yeah, another one, and like yeah, this, ah, okay. You, you, you lose the ah. game. Ah, very well. Yep, so that is all for the gift giving part, and next up, let's play games. Stay tuned. <laughs> Thank you. Yep, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> So we are back. Now we are doing the game session. Today we will be playing I have or I have never. So we will be reading about cultural exchange questions to the ambassador. And maybe he have tried it before. You can raise it up. I have. But if you haven't tried before, you can say I have never. And you can maybe go try that activity and so on. Audience would like to hear you speak a little bit of Thai. 
So you can repeat. This is very uh, hard <laughs> for me, but I will try. Please, please try. <laughs> um, you can repeat after what I said. These are the words that is difficult to pronounce um, mm. by foreigners. So the first one is angun. Angun. Angun, yeah. Angun. 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 It means grape. 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 Okay, yeah, angun. 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 Yeah, you can say it. Okay. Um, yeah, because some people from the Western. You will teach me in Thai. G okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. People from the Western, the g is hard to pronounce. Ngun, you know. No, yeah. angun. But yours, angun yours, means yeah, we can, perfect. In, in yeah. our country, we this can is perfect. pronounce it. No okay, problem. so next up is um, uh, like a medium level one. It's kai 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 kai. Kai kai? Kai kai. Kai kai. Kai kai. Kai 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 kai. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It means um. Kai 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 kai. Kai 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 kai. Kai. It means who sells the chicken egg? Chicken in Thai is what? Kai. 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 Chicken in Kai is kai. 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 Yeah, yeah. Kai. Kai. Kai is kai. Kai is chicken. Is egg. Kai kai. Yeah. Kai 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 kai. Yeah. Kai kai. Yeah. Um, okay, last one is um, the province name of, in the south. Ranong Rayong Yala. Ranong Rayong Yala. Yeah, Ranong Rayong Yala. Ranong Rayong Yala. Ranong. Ranong. Ranong Ranong Rayong Yala. Yeah. Ranong Rayong Yala. Yeah. Ranong Rayong Yala. Yeah. Is it three province yeah. on the south? Yeah, 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 yeah. So the, if you say it fast, Malay, it's Malay, Malay, Malay people they live there. Uh, 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 many like uh, like Muslim people. Muslim yeah, people they live there. there. Yeah, ah, okay. So so. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Uh, 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 ra, sorry, Ranong Rayong Yala. Okay, yeah. Can you say it fast? Rayong like, Yala. It's Ranong Rayong Yala. Ranong okay. Rayong Yala. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. This is the southern part of Thailand. Thailand. Yeah, the name of the province. So, okay. Ranong Rayong Yala. Okay. You can impress them okay. by saying these three words. <laughs> and next up, can you teach me Arabic slang or, uh. or, or some words? Is Yik? Means like Zayik. 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 Uh, Mina. Uh, how are you? How are you? Zayik. 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 And Zayik. Pronounce it. Zayik. 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 Good. Zayik. Zayik. How are you? Zayik. Uh, how are you? Uh, uh, I will tell you another word, yeah, yeah, but maybe. very, very hard. Okay. I am. I am I'm not ready. sure that you know. Uh, <laughs> pronounce it. Okay. Uh, 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 don't worry. Uh -huh. Don't worry. Don't worry. In Egyptian dialect, yeah. is may may him match. May him match. May him match. Uh, in oh. Egyptian dialect. Ah, uh, Egyptian dialect. Uh, may him match. Not uh, yeah. may him match. Don't worry. Don't worry. May him match. Uh, uh. In Thai, it's same. May uh, penrai. Uh, same. Same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can try say may may penrai. May penrai. Yeah. May penrai. May him match. May him match. May him match. Maybe we got from the. May him match. Ah, I see. Okay. Okay. Moving on to the next question. This one is on food. So, have you ever had Egyptian food that doesn't really? Tastes like Egyptian food. I, I never had Egyptian food, so I, I, I never. Have, yeah, of course. yeah. In Maybe. some countries, mm -hmm. when I eat some, when I've been in France, uh -huh. I go to the what they told the Egyptian restaurant mm. to to test the Egypt, some Egyptian dishes. Yeah, but in, uh, I, if it's not uh, like what exactly what we. Uh, have we'll at have at home. Uh, um, so let me introduce a little bit about Egyptian food for those who haven't tried before, like like myself. So um, there is a variety of Egyptian cuisines influenced by you know the Arabs, the Persian, the Greeks, the Roman. Um, so maybe I can list out some Egyptian food like koshari. Bravo. Yeah, exactly. koshari, yeah. which is um, Egyptian. Maybe you can tell what the koshari. Koshari is rice, rice with macaroni. Uh, macaroni, yeah. exactly. Uh, with lentils, uh, oh, yeah, with lentils, 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 lentils and, and with yeah. onion, they grilled it. They grilled the onion a, bit. Uh, a okay. bit, bit. They and put uh, together, but very well tasty. Yeah. You are, and with a tomato, tomato sauce oh, and, and on top, on of, top it, of it, yeah. it's tasted very well. And they have to be cooked 
like you cooked the, the for example. Ah, for example. The rice, when uh, you, you you put it, uh, take a time to cook it. Oh, okay, oh, like perfect. Perfect, time. exactly. Oh, nice. Next up is uh, mashi. Mashi, of mashi, course. Of mashi, course, with rice. it's a vegetable stuffed with um, minced beef and also rice, rice, rice oh, as rice well. Rice and uh, beef, rice. exactly. Yeah. This one I tried before, uh, fata. Fat, 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 of yeah, course, the rice yeah. with uh, yogurt. some uh, yogurt. This is in, in Lebanese oh, really? or okay. Syrian, uh -huh. Syrian it, uh, they ingredient. They yeah, yeah. They do fat rice Pizza? and they put meat, a uh. uh, part of, of beef uh, oh, on, 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 on. Uh -huh. and with some small of um, uh, bread. Oh, bread, uh, bread. Uh, small, small breads like this in, in the top yeah. with uh, the rice, with, uh, with the bread, with the meat. In, in so on you the top. already have rice and you have uh, bread too? Bread and meat. meat. Oh, okay. Uh, wow. It will but be, not bread will... like you put, uh, the bread they put, they cooked it. The bread they oh, cooked they cook it. And, uh, oh, okay. They put it. Maybe oh. we can show pictures of it. Um, I have on, my uh, cooked that I will try to, 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 to bring it. Uh, oh, uh. Okay, so next question. This is about the inventions of Egypt. So have you ever named the invention that was originally from ancient Egypt? Whether it's like papyrus, whatever. Have you ever like named some of them before? I think I have. Because there's a, there's a lot, there's a lot of, of course, I have. Yeah, yeah. I've, the, I have. yeah. The reason I ask this uh, yes, is I have. Yes. maybe you can share to audience like what in all everyday inventions that help the mod modern society. That was so, very yeah. important. If you talk about this, you have the mathematics that yes. came from the architecture that yeah. came from the Egyptian. Yeah, like ancient, geometry as well. The geometry, bravo. Yeah. Uh, the science. The, well, you have to know mm -hmm. how the great pyramid oh, is being yeah, built. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's very, yeah. it's very important yeah. uh, things, yeah. and how they been very developed in science and architect and geometry, like mm -hmm. you told from medical, uh, from uh, medical as uh, well. Medical, yeah. of, of yeah. course, yeah. bravo, on and as well medical, of course. Yeah. They start, this is the st they started from this period. What is the medical? They started mm -hmm. look agriculture, mm -hmm. how to to develop the agriculture, mm -mm. the land, start to cultivate the, mm -mm. the medical, the medicine. The irrigation too. The, the irrigation, the, the, of the course. Nile along the Exa yeah. Exactly, yeah. the irrigation for mm. agriculture. Mm. This is uh, one of the most important things. The uh, medicine, the science, science. the math, the, the maths, mm. and the uh, architect. The, the, the engineering as engineering, well. Engineering, of yeah. course. Of, that of, is of all of this, they came from. The, all of this original from the Egyptian civilization. Yeah, they yeah. came from the started yeah. from the Egypt. The follow up question on that is um, why do you think that Asian Egyptian, especially like the, the Mesopotamians, you know, yeah. um, the originally, why are they so advanced in these inventions? The Mesopotamians, they separate in each era, like exactly. the Sumerian. Assyrian, uh, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Why, why ah, think, I understand yeah, what you mean. Why do you ah. think they're so creative? <laughs> yeah. The two oldest civilizations in this field, when I talk civilization, I talk about science, I talk about maths, Math. about, about many things, mm -hmm. about, about philosophy, about mm -hmm. many things. The oldest civilization in the world is the Egyptian and the Chinese. Chinese. Yes. The two on the yes. Side. Yes. Very long. But I think mm -hmm. the Egyptian mm -hmm. civilization, not because I am Egyptian ambassador, of course, mm -hmm. it's been uh, influent more in the world mm. than the Chinese civilization during the, mm. due to the position of Egypt yes, in the, the yes, Mediterranean. Yes, I see. You understand yes, what I mean? I, yes, yes. And after that, mm. many civilizations they inspired from the Egyptian civilization. Yeah, and that is normal. The idea Especially the Greco civilization Roman. and the Roman yes. civilization. They yes. inspired all, all mm -hmm. from the, of course, from the Egyptian. And mm -hmm. for that reason, Alexander the Great, mm. that is one of, for me, one of the greatest king in the world, mm. um, emperor in the world. Mm. He came in Egypt, he lived in Egypt, mm. he, he built Alexandria, yes. yes, and he he inspired completely from the Egyptian civilization. Mm. You, you, That's how uh, Bill came and then he can create more empires more, exactly. on, on his own. Yeah. His own. Last question is, have you ever turned a serious situation into a joke? 
into like a, a, a lot, funny... a lot. This is uh, this is a lot. Yeah. This is the Egyptian yes. uh, personality. Wait, yes. That is very a lot. <laughs> yeah. We we I will tell you something uh -huh. yeah. that the Egyptian person they criticize themselves all the time. Oh really? Yes, it's normal... very very ah, okay. in, by joking. Uh -huh. You understand? Yeah, yeah, like they criticize themselves. They criticize mm -hmm. their society mm -hmm. uh, as they like by by joking. This is a yeah. typical Egyptian personality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not it's not being, you know, disrespectful or not, but then I think it's more on like shining positive light exactly. on, on, on life. Yeah, exactly. I think on exactly. during the you know, during COVID at this time, during difficult situations, like maybe Egyptians can like have a good laugh. There's a lot yeah. of um what we call memes. Memes it's like a funny photo on the internet. So exactly. it, a lot come from Egypt. So exactly. it's like memes about during COVID. Exactly. So I think it's exactly. it's it's very it's Positive and it's um, lighthearted. Uh, 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 exactly. Yeah, for, for exactly. they just want people to you know just have a quick laugh, like like we enjoy today. So yes, so now it's uh, a wrap up on the game session, and next up is Q and A. Stay tuned. And next up is the Q and A session. In this session, um, we have the questions that are selected from a variety of groups. Um, there are Thais who went to Egypt before. There are expats living in Thailand. They send us the questions um, through Facebook and Twitter. Um, so everyone is asked this question. What is one question you like to ask the ambassador of Egypt? Um, so since your excellency, you just arrived only a few months ago in December um, as the new ambassador of Egypt to Thailand. Um, maybe please share your background to our audience, um, where you were born and your career path becoming ambassador. And I am pleased to present my country here in Thailand. Mm -hmm. uh, secondly, uh, my background, I am, being, I am born in uh, Tunis. 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 Okay. Because my father, he worked on the diplomatic field as well. He been ah, as well as ambassador sorry. before, mm -hmm. and for that reason, this is one of the reasons that I take the same career for him. But mm -hmm. to him, but is as well that because I respect a, a lot my uh, diplomatic career. Mm -hmm. I am uh, I've been at the foreign affairs from thirty years ago, wow. and I uh, I've been my first post in France. After that, Ivory Coast. Mm -hmm. After that, uh, Australia. Australia. After that, Israel, in the Middle East, and after that, as ambassador in Senegal. Senegal. And at the end, the, 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 the president decided, the president of Egypt, to mm -hmm. nominate me, to have this honor to nominate me here in Thailand, Thailand. this beautiful country that I appreciate it so, so much. Wow, so you have been to over three, four continents already. Australia, exactly. Israel, Australia, uh, France, Australia, Europe. France, uh, Australia, Africa, Africa and uh, Asia. Asia. So no. Thailand is the first. And Middle Asian... East as well. If you can compare Middle uh -huh. East, if you talk about Israel in uh -huh. general. Uh, yes, 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 general. for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Thailand is also the first country in Asia. In that Asia that I work. Oh, this is the first experience for, for me. Welcome you. Well, Thank to, you. To welcome you. Yes. And also, Thailand and Egypt, we have a very long diplomatic relations exactly. for over 60 years. So now this year we celebrate the 67 years of demo, uh, diplomatic relations between Egypt and Thailand since the embassy of Egypt opened in Thailand in 1954. So very, very long, long Very, long, very, very long standing yes. like relation in mm -hmm. the many field, political. Uh, economic, mm. we we'll talk about trade, and after that, we'll yes. talk about trade. And as well, something very, very important mm. between our two countries is the culture dimension. The yes. culture dimension, due to the have a lot of students mm. from Thailand in Egypt, mm -hmm. and uh, we have a mutual scholarship between our two countries from yes. Egypt to the Thai Thailand people and, and the Thai to the Egyptian people. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Your Excellency, you haven't been here for too long, only a few months, but what is the similarity um, between Egypt and Thailand that you, you come and you, you see right away? Maybe the country or the people? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. This is a very good question. Yeah. First of all, Thailand and Egypt is a big history. Mm. Egypt is the one of the mother of all civilizations, yes. of course, because yes. it's the oldest, Long. oldest uh, civilization Long. in the world. Mm. And uh, the most important things that I feel that I am relaxed here, like Egypt, is the people, is the society. Mm. 
the tolerance that I saw on the people, mm -hmm. welcome, the, the smile, smile, the, the like, the yeah. smile, the uh -huh. same things exactly mm -hmm. with Egypt. Mm -hmm. And the other things mm -hmm. is in a negative side, uh -huh. that is the crowded city like, oh, e, yes. like Cairo. <laughs> No, this yeah, is the same, the, 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 the same, but uh -huh. it's very interesting, uh, of course, uh, I talked about Bangkok, not yeah. all the uh, time. But of course, it is very, uh, there are similarities on the people, mm -hmm. the way that they uh, look the, 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 their, the, their life, look the way they the live, life, exactly, the living, the living the and the people. things, but mm -hmm. of course, the tradition is not the same. The tradition ah, of yes. Middle East yes. is not like the tradition here. Mm -hmm. It's uh, slightly different, mm -hmm. but don't forget something very... Now Egypt is coming more and more attached to Asia. Yes. Due to the, we have a lot of tourists that they came from China, yes. from Japan. And yes. now Thailand, we try to encourage the Thai people to go to Egypt. Mm -hmm. And I will talk about this uh, later yeah, because it's very important yes. things yes. about the, the okay. historical and touristical uh, oh, tourist uh, dimension. Great. Yeah, because... Um, Tourism is a big part of Thailand's GDP as well as Egypt, exactly. so, so that's a very exactly. crucial. Um, but next up on the questions, so what does Egypt mean to you and how does your career as a diplomat shape the definition of being Egyptian? Egypt for me, I am very proud to be Egyptian. Mm. I am very proud to belong to the nation that they have a very long-standing history. Mm. The nation that they describe it as a mother of all the civilization, like mm. I told. Mm. And uh, the nation, the most important things when you talk about Egypt is mm. the Egyptian identity. Mm. It is not you are uh, what is you are belong of what religion mm. or or of what uh, conviction mm. or what no is right. about Egypt itself. Right. Egypt is mean because it's uh, for its old history. Yes. The people they are very attached to, to Egypt. The Egyptian right. people, yes. very very attached to it. Mm -hmm. Like for that reason, I am attached to my country not only as ambassador mm -hmm. but as citizenship. Mm -hmm. So they are Muslim. Mm -hmm. They are. Christian, mm -hmm. even oh. they are Jewish, they are oh, oh. they oh, are Egyptian. Oh. Before, mm -hmm. The most important thing they are Egyptian. This is yes. the most important. Wow. Your your conviction or your confession it is between you and God. Mm. This is something mm. that <laughs> nothing yes. we don't. Uh, yes. You you uh, this is but Egypt is Egypt yeah. it's itself. This is we are very mm. proud of our, about mm. our country. Mm. We are very attached about our country. Mm. We know that we have a very long standing. Mm. Uh, History, history and, then, okay. and we are metropolitan mm. that many culture mm. and civilization they came in Egypt and they live in mm. Egypt from mm. more than 7,000 years yes, ago yes. for By that reason lot. when we talk about the pharaonic period yes we talk about the Greco period yes when Alexander the Great they came in Egypt the I Roman, talk about yeah. the, about the, the Roman period mm. And we talk about the Christian period in yes. Egypt, yes. Is co the Coptic period. Mm -hmm. And after that, of course, the Islamic period mm -hmm. uh, with all the yes. um, monarchies of Islam till that Napoleon Bonaparte, yes. the campaign the of Napoleon Bonaparte came in I Egypt see. in uh, 1798. I see. So Egypt has been influenced a lot by, um, by, by internationals and even you said being Egypt is very strong in the national identity exactly. because um, when we hear about Egypt maybe we can speak to some Thai audience when we hear of Egypt we might only think about the pharaonic age where there's like pyramids and all but we want to let you know that Egypt is a mix of all cultures exactly. within, within one country that's because true Egypt also geographically it's like in Africa, but in also in Asia because of the Sinai part and also Arabic, but you are also Mediterranean. So, exactly. yes. So when mm. I was doing research, this is you a do very, very good research. Very yeah. interesting. Yeah. Egypt is one of the first country to support the UN peacekeeping troops, you know, in Congo back in um, the 1960. So when we speak of the UN, we speak of peacekeeping. Um, what is your definition of peacekeeping? Because you know, between the UN, there's a lot of countries, like 193 countries. Um, and how can we reach, you know, the compromise for, for each country? You, you, you touch a very important mm. question. Mm. Egypt, they play a very important role historically about the peacekeeping mm. that you told that they started in the 1960 mm. in Congo, mm. when they sent the troops in UN for the peacekeeping there mm. during the conflict in mm. Congo. Mm. 
and uh, especially Egypt, they do a very b big, uh, one of the biggest partners of the peacekeeping in the world is mm. Egypt. Mm. Egypt now, they leading the commission of the peace building uh, commission at the UN, and mm. this is very important. Mm. And we have already the agenda about it because we don't talk only about during the conflict, mm -hmm. but how to rebuild any country after the conflict. That is the most ah, important thing. How do you Rebuild it, yes, from, after from the here. conflict. That is very important. Um, looking from like, like you know, someone from, from Asia, because from Asia as in Thailand identity, it's only like Thailand or ASEAN, right? But Egypt, you are like Asia, Europe, everything Arabic. Exactly. So I think you exactly. understand the issue or the nuance of it more than other country, then you know like how to maintain peace or like, can I yeah, yes, can yes. I add something very important? When yeah. you saw the map, the yeah, world yeah. map, yeah, that world map, you will saw Egypt in the center of the map. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. You saw the geographic position mm -hmm. of the Egypt in the center right of the, the map. Center. And for that reason, yes. this is reflect the history of Egypt, the importance, mm -hmm. the geopolitical importance of Egypt in mm -hmm. the world. Mm -hmm. And for that reason, for a long standing, Egypt had been invited by many monarchies, many uh, military Rulers, campaign right. from uh, due to the position of Egypt in the center of Middle East and in the center yeah, of the world. world. This is, secondly, Egypt is the main entrance for Africa because ah, yes, Egypt okay. geographic is Afri in the uh, uh, east north part of Africa. Mm. Is the link because a part like you told a link part of Egypt in, in Asia yes. is uh, through Sinai. Mm. So Egypt is the link between Asia yeah. and Africa. Yeah. This is very important things. Yeah. And Egypt is well as well, well centralized in Mediterranean. This uh, is a very important position yeah. of Egypt in Mediterranean. Yeah. Yeah. For that reason, we talk, yes, we have, we are African, mm -hmm. we are Arab, we are Mediterranean. Uh, Mediterranean. <laughs> and, uh, and of course, we have a, a very long standing link yeah. with Asia. Yeah. This is very normal due to, like you told, due to the part of Egypt is mm. in Asia, mm -hmm. but due to Egypt is the entrance, mm. the access from Asia to Africa, mm. and even from Europe to, 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 down. to, to, to So down. it's like a welcoming door. The all welcoming all door for all, over. exactly. Yeah. You can yeah. describe it like I this. See. So next up is on economy. Yeah. So we like you to share, um, maybe I can share with the audience first on background on Egypt's economy. So Egypt's economy is Africa's top five largest economy, according to the African De Development Bank, um, AFDB. Um, Egypt is distrib contributing to the most to Africa economy from all the countries in Africa with the aggregate growth rate of 3.4%. Um, and to your question is, what do you think is the cause of the growth um, um, in, in GDP or what is the policy that Egypt have, maybe the difference from other African countries Very that good. makes you grow? First of all, Egypt is like you told, is one of the largest, but is not one of the largest. There are three mm. African countries, pillars of mm. the economy in mm. Africa, the biggest three countries, mm. Egypt, South Africa, mm. and Nigeria. Mm. This is the three countries, the most important countries, on if you reflect it on terms of GDP in, in, yes, in Africa. In, in Africa. Yeah. And for that reason, they contribute the most that they contribute mm. in the uh, uh, economy of mm. Africa. Mm. Secondly, Egypt already is the, if you talk, if you allow me to talk about the pandemic uh, yes, period yes, this yes, year, yes, yes, yes. Egypt of the few countries in the world mm. that they preserve a positive growth of rate during the, the pandemic oh, period. Really? Oh, yes, wow. it's like you told 3.4 last or 3.5 between 3.4 yeah, or 3.5 yeah. yes. last year, 2020, mm. it will slow down mm. this year, but it's still positive, two point mm. something. This mm. is the forecast of some mm. international institution. And it will go up in 2000, next year, in 2022, to 5% or Ooh, years. 5%. This wow. is the forecast of many um, international, like IMF, mm. International Monetary Fund, mm. and World Bank. Due to the procedure, the steps that they take it, concerning the economic reform from mm. few years ago, mm. from about uh, uh, three and a half years, mm. Egypt reached this level of very uh, high, high, high yeah, level high of, level. of or very up level. I don't want to exaggerate to tell you, but up level mm. of 
growth of rate and of economy due to the fiscal reforms that they establish it do do they cut uh, subsidize and uh, and they uh, how can provide support, provi yeah, yeah, support. Yeah. this is uh, for, for, for their yeah. economy mm. and uh, due that the gdp of egypt mm. from 2017 mm. till now 2020 i don't cannot is growing in a very uh, very uh, significant mm. uh, than the other, than other yes yeah. exactly mm. one of the part when i go to the trade volume volume between our two countries the yes. exchange of trade volume yes. one of the most one of the most traded, the most traded food is the seafood ah, seafood, food uh, expo exportation export, from export. thailand to egypt yeah. especially yeah. tuna but not only seafood you have other items very important mm -hmm. like we will talk we can talk about the volume trade you could talk about the pharmaceutical mm -hmm. from thailand mm -hmm. to egypt the uh, spare parts of motor motor oh, vehicles, motor vehicles yes I see the uh, electronics mm -hmm. uh, as well and machinery. like i told the uh, machinery and electronics and i told you mm. as of course the alimentary products especially the tuna mm. but uh, but egypt as well they export from egypt mm. to thailand mm. like uh, pharmaceutical mm. as well yeah i think they uh, really export to yeah. here uh, yeah. cotton Textile, uh -huh. textile, and as well, there are textile from Thailand to Egypt. I ah, forget I to tell you, this is one of the items. But as well for the and fertilizers, uh, fertilizers. Oh, fertilizers yes, of World War II to Thailand. Oh, this is the most important things mm -hmm. that we exported to. So Thailand. most Egyptians who are, who might be watching, you're eating tuna from Thailand. So yes, yes. exactly, Enjoy. exactly <laughs> from Thailand. That is too. That's Enjoy. true. The uh -huh. tuna is a very important part of the volume of our trade exchange between mm -hmm. our two countries. Mm -hmm. uh, Egypt. When I talk about the dimension uh, culture. And you would be surprised that we have a lot of Thai uh, students. They live in Egypt and they are. Uh, like a lot, like 3,000? More than 3,000. Yeah, I More than 3,400. Like, wow, wow, yeah. 3,400. Yeah. Yeah. But this is before the pandemic. Before, ah, before till the pandemic. pandemic. After the pandemic, it slowed down due to the pandemic. Yeah, uh, you have to prepare stop. Because they yeah, have yeah. the travel is yeah. not allowed. But I'm not surprised because you have one of the oldest exactly. institute of it, the world. Which El Azhar, is Azhar Institute. Azhar University. Institute. Yes. It's for more than 1,000 years ago. Yes. The, the, this is wow. Azhar Institute. I think it's the oldest. It's Azhar wow. University. Mm. And it provides for all the Islamic people the moderate, the ah. moderate trend of the religion. I the moderate uh, and okay. the most important for us even for thailand mm. the team that they teach how to be integrated on the thailand society they are a part of the I end see. of the thailand society I see. how to be integrated and how mm. to contribute mm. for the development of their nation firstly mm. and the region as well i see and at uh, and the end and to preserve their culture Mm. On the same time, to preserve their culture, their identity. This is yeah, because a thousand them. years of, you yes, know, of like, course. like This is what so, I uh, yeah. want to tell. For that reason, yeah. for that trend that Egypt it take it, there are a lot of Thai students. Mm. They, uh, they are so still go there. there. Mm. Uh, mm. One of the main, main role how to keep this and how to enhance it mm. uh, from yeah. Egypt to mm. Thai. Mm. And mm. even Thai, mm -hmm. through the Taika, I think the international cooperation of uh, agency, international agency ah, of, of agency? You know, Thailand so to, Egypt, uh, to well. Egypt. They send I to see, Egypt a, a lot of scholarship as yeah. well. This is exchange of scholarship between uh, each other. So now it's the part of tourism. Of course, we need to touch on this subject on tourism. Egypt is like huge. It's big on tourism. So people all over the world has been traveling to cities in Egypt on different cities, whether it's Cairo, Giza, or even like um, Alexandria, um, Lusor, Aswan, and so on. So in addition to the beautiful nature and of course, Asian architecture, maybe you could share um, for the, our audience um, what you like to recommend for the visit. The tourism field is very important mm. with the history of Egypt. But mm. I want, before that I go to that, to announce something very important for the Thai people. Yes, please. This year, mm -hmm. this year, Egypt has the honor to inaugurate one of the greatest museums in the world. Mm. This is a very, it will be a museum near the pyramids. Okay. They already established it and it is supposed to be inaugurated this year at the end of this year, of 2021. 
-huh. They suppose that they would expose more than 100,000 pieces, items of wow. the pharaonic period uh -huh. the, on this museum. It's not only a museum, it's academic center, mm. museum, mm. and uh, for the restoration of all kinds. Mm. That is in, in the named like the... Yeah, maybe you can share the, the name of the, the museum. The museum is the Museum of Civilization. Museum civilization. They describe yeah. the civilization of Egypt from the pharaonic period mm. till the campaign of Napoleon Bonaparte. Mm. And this is very important on the, it, they establish it as well mm. in old Cairo. Mm. And I think that these two projects, mm. culture, they may, is very important mm. for the people that they will attract a lot of people to come to see Egypt. What is the location again? Near Giza? Uh, near, uh, one there? near Giza, Giza, the greatest museum. I they they name is the greatest, the, the greatest, greatest new, new Cairo museum. Greatest new Cairo museum. museum and the, Second one, second one is the Museum of Civilization. Civilization. Uh, civilizations. So that is uh, the, the most important thing. Egypt, you have uh, Alexandria, of course, because Alexandria yes, is the second true. city in Egypt mm -hmm. that had been established by the Alexander the Great. Mm -hmm. And uh, the second thing, the most important thing, is for two, like you announce it, like you know, uh, uh, Luxor Aswan, Aswan in Aswan. Uh, Upper Egypt. That upper has, Egypt mm -mm. is south of Egypt. Mm. Uh, Luxor, for example. Mm. is described by the UNESCO, mm. by the UNESCO, mm. as they have already the two-third monuments in the world. Right, in it has Luxor. The, the, in the Luxor. Thieves, thieves, yes, thieves, two yeah. are oh, in I the want world. To visit the this is very uh, important yes. in the night. Yeah. And Aswan yeah. is on the, yeah. the south yeah. of, of Luxor, the south of Egypt. Yes. It's about 1,200 mm. kilometers from Cairo. Okay. It's very interesting mm. uh, city in terms of history. Yes, a lot of, of the, temples. Uh, a lot of temples um, as well. And uh, you have the dam know. of uh, Aswan, mm -hmm. uh, very interesting. And uh, it is uh, very part. But you have as well mm. Egypt in each part of Egypt. Mm. In each yeah. part, you it's have uh, uh, historical places. Yes. In each part of Egypt, yes. when you go over to, to the Nile, you have all of this, you have yes. historical place. Yes. Because you have, you know, the family, the, the, the uh, pharaonic civilization yes. is 30 family. Yes. You have the old families, <laughs> you have the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 okay. the medium family, yeah. and you have the Lower. recent, the yes. world. And this is give for you diversity of this culture, of this mm. history. Yes. And this is uh, very important. Yes. And many Egyptology, mm. they told mm. that what is described mm. already, uh, yeah. They cover now is only thirty percent of the Egyptian. Huh? <laughs> There's a lot more. Uh, there are more, 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 more. Only thirty percent. Wow. Okay. Uh, or, or, or what they, they cover yeah. till, till now, mm. you can imagine it. And because when you talk about the Egyptian items or the Egyptian pieces, yeah. not only in Egypt, you know, yeah. it's all in all the world. You yes. see, if you go to Europe, if you go to France, mm. like Louvre, for example, uh, if you go to in, uh, Brit mm. London, if you go to Rome, if you go. To uh, Australia, even. Australia, I, even. I, I went to my exactly. first uh, Egyptian exhibition at Tutankhamun. Yeah, 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 in they're, Melbourne. They're, yeah. They're, but Tutankhamun he came from Cairo. Yeah, they yeah, are yeah, part they, of they, and, they and they return yeah, back. They return but back. even in Australia, you have a part of Egyptian. Uh, I remember when I been there, I been yeah. serving camera at the embassy, uh -huh. and I saw Egyptian items, Egyptian, uh -huh. um, uh, because we have. Uh, Australian missions, they yeah. go to Egypt to discover the Egyptian. Yes, the, the uh, agricultural uh, 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 Yes, thing. this is very important. So, culture, we can touch on various topics, but um, this part, we like you to give the reference for the audience on each, um, each, uh, each topic, maybe on the Egyptian artist, Egyptian athlete, Egyptian um, musician or author, or up to you who who you might be inspired by previously. You have the you most be, be, yeah. most famous singer in the yeah. this part of Middle East. His very name oh, famous okay. is Omar Karsum. Um, what in uh, it's okay. like uh, when you talk in France, mm -hmm. for example, they very well know Edith Piaf. In, in, in Egypt, the, not in Egypt, only in all the mm -hmm. Arab world and mm -hmm. Middle East mm -hmm. and many countries, they know Omar Karsum. Omar Karsum is very famous, famous singer. <laughs> And for TV shows, um, I did some research, but there's one TV show that I really like. It's called Abla Fahita. 
I'm the Faita, you know it? Ah, you saw it. It's a long time. Yeah, so, and also, you don't know yet, it is actually coming soon on Netflix. Netflix, the, the, the TV, the famous TV platform. So, Abla Fajita, Abla means teacher, and Fajita is um, the name. The name of the character. Yeah, yeah it's an Egyptian um, satirical puppet character. The, the puppet is a widow, and she has a very good sense of humor and like a sharp tongue. What about you? Have you fallen in love? Have you found the robot of your dream? I think I can experience platonic love, but it's not romantic. However, it feels like real love to me. So maybe it is just a different kind of love rather than artificial. Yeah, habibti, artificial love is better than no love at all. Mm. And uh, we have a lot of authors. You have one who already get, get, get the prize Nobel. Oh, Nobel Prize. Oh, Otto Nobel Prize. Uh, sorry, Nobel Prize is Nagib Mahfouz. Nice. He's a very, very famous one. He got it in 1988. What did uh, he write about? He wrote uh, a lot of books about... History? The deepest, no, the deepest life, the deepest society of Egypt, Egyptian society. The, oh. the deepest about the Egyptian society, the people, the people, people the, exactly. I see. Exactly. Wow, wow. That is, yeah, and it, when he reflected in... As internationally, mm. been very inter books been very appreciated. The professor who is um, um, cardio thoracic, like surgery for for hearts. Magdi Yakub. Yakub, of course. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of the most famous. He, mm. Now he already uh, established a center about this in Egypt, in Aswan, in Upper ah, Egypt, Aswan. Ah, Egypt. and he tried to establish another one yeah. in Cairo, near ah, Cairo, so and he's very one. one of the, is one of the most famous in this field in the world. Um, yeah, I think this is all for Q&A. Um, oh. um, so yes, thank you so much for your participation for thank today. You. And yes, please, everyone stay tuned for next week's um, episode of Meet the Ambassador. But for today, um, let's wrap up and say goodbye. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Hi. Yeah, for me, it's an honor that you be with me today. I enjoy so much Thank you so about much. this interview and this events, and to be with this beautiful lady <laughs> to be accompanied today. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. And let me uh, please that you, if I can, to give you as a small gift. It is a. a Papyrus, uh, photo of the Tutankhamun. Tutankhamun. Papyrus, and this is a little thing. This thank is a real, you. original papyrus. This is original one. one. Wow, and thank you. Is, I, I thank am you very so happy to present it for me. Thank you With so the photo much. of Tutankhamun. This is the first one, is Tutankhamun. And then the next one. The next one, this is uh, the period of uh, Akhnaton, Akhnaton, one of the biggest uh, king in the pharaonic period. Mm. So this is the second. The second one. This is uh, as well for the papyrus, and this is the third one. It re represents the Egyptian dance during ah, the pharaonic yes. period. Ah, I see, I see. Please do to present it to me. Yes, yes. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank this you. is a lovely gift. Thank I you. will, I will treasure it dearly. <laughs> thank yes. you so much. Thank you. Yes, media. Subscribe.